Six years ago, the first Sputnik went shrieking into space. A revolution erupted. The awakened American public finally took a penetrating look at its schools. These are its beneficiaries. Nowhere in America can the results of the revolt be seen more clearly than in the city of Pittsburgh. In these conventional buildings, the unconventional has become common. Here they began an experiment in excellence. One, two. Quarter and orange. John? Children began learning to read 10,000 words a minute. Jeder wusste, dass der Diamant eine Million wert war. They began to learn new languages quickly. Sweetly is really the only definitive. High school youngsters attended college, but in their high school classrooms. Um, the last period. Um, I mean, you Teachers teamed up to teach better and teach more. Higher cooling levels. We can continue this out indefinitely. Industrial companies invaded the classrooms with their special skills to help students and help themselves. A milk carton or an orange drink carton, what have you. And I took this card. Even television beamed its light to the youngest students. But when we took that penetrating look, we saw something else that was neither new nor outdated. We rediscovered something we should never have forgotten. The priceless ingredient in education, the single excellent teacher. This should never have been forgotten. It probably never will be forgotten again. Her name is Elizabeth Brown. Once each year, 45 times in all, she has taken this walk made this discovery. This is the last time she will do it. For after 45 years, Elizabeth Brown is preparing to retire. Her educating, her experimenting is about finished. Her excellence is her legacy to Pittsburgh. My name is Miss Brown. Good morning, boys and girls. and girls, take your seats. Open your books now to page 310. Every teacher everywhere has learned that this is her classic function, to know them, to become knowing and known. When I face a class the first day of school, one of the things that I think about is uh, whether I've had brothers and sisters. I can often even point to a child and by the way they look, I can tell them that you come from a certain family. Later on, I often find that uh, I've taught their parents. So sometimes they come up to me and say, my mother and my father says they had you in school. When I get a new group of children, it probably takes a month or two months for me to know each child individually. Most of these children, intellectually, are above average. Kirk uh, is a very outgoing boy, as well as an outstanding boy. He notices mistakes, and he asks very leading and very intelligent questions. Number two, Anita. Molly has 30 cents. She spent 25 cents for a box of pains. How much money does... Anita is a very bright child. She is able to reason very well, and her thinking is very clear. 30 cents Molly has. Subtract, all right. Number eight. Eileen. The distance from home to grandmother's is... Eileen Chin. She's a lovely little girl. She's a beautiful writer and a beautiful printer. I taught her sister. Has driven. All right, take away. That'll do. The crayon. And this? The papier. Diana's smart, isn't she? And where, what is that room over there called? The vestiaire. How would you say, show me the book? All right, you may get it. 
She has to get her paper. <laughs> Janet is a very attractive and a very interesting child. She's the only third grade child who has, has been permitted to take this French. How would you say, show me the book? Montre-moi leaf. And there is Dominic. Dominic, see if you can see the, or read the title and the first paragraph. The top of page 162. Words that rap sound sound alike. How now and no some. Some words. Dominic is a little Italian boy who's been in this country two years. His problem is the language difficulty at home. Only his native language is spoken at home. So that makes it difficult for Dominic to think in English. They do not have, have the so same. Same. Read the same paragraph, Kirk. Some words sound alike, but they do not look alike. They do not have the same spelling. They do not have the same meaning either. Diane, show Dominic where he made his first mistake there. Until we had him tested. We didn't realize what native ability he really had, but he does have good native ability, which has to be brought out as soon as we possibly can do that. Eileen. She writes with her left hand. Right, W-R-I-T-E. Nancy. I got my test all right. Right, R-I-G-H-T. Dominic. I wrote, I wrote my, my paper. Who can tell me what's the matter with Dominic? Is that a wrote? He should use right, that's right, all right. Dominic needs lots of extra work if he is to improve in reading. It's necessary for him to learn to read. On on the sn snowy snowy tree tr trunk trunk right said george now let's go or <laughs> or wet will will be late then later than ever later than now ever let's go or we'll just or we'll be later than ever do you ever have snow in italy no. How old were you when you came over from Italy? Seven. Seven? How old are you now? Nine. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes. How many? Five. Five? Are you the oldest of five? Yeah. You are? <laughs> You're the big boy, huh? Yeah. What are the other names of the other ones? Teresa. Joseph. How old is Teresa? Six years old. Six. And what, who's next? Josephine. Teresa's in school then. And yes. Josephine's how old? Five years old. Is she in school? Is she in kindergarten? Yes. And Teresa's in what? First grade? Yes. And then who? Frankie. How old's Frankie? Four. Four. That's two boys. And who's another one? Lisa. And then there's a baby. Yes. How old's the baby? Eight months. Eight months. Boy or girl? Boy. Another boy. Three boys? Yes. Three boys and three girls. This even, aren't they? <sighs> Tell me, Dominic, do you know why it's important to read? Can you do arithmetic without reading? No. Not too much, can you? Do you go to the store? Yes. What do you need reading for at the store? To, to um, remember. Remember what to get, yes. And you have to read the, be able to read the price of things sometimes, too, don't you? And the, the signs on the shelf. So it's very important that you learn to read. So I want you to take this home. 
finish it, and then when you read some more, that you bring it back to me. And work hard at your reading. Turn the next page. All right, read at the top of the page. It couldn't have been our dog, explained George. It couldn't, couldn't be, have been, have been our dog. Explain, explain. This is the way Miss Brown can exert her excellence on her own time in a school without enough equipment, enough budget, enough time. This is Dilworth Public School. This is traditional.